What's going on everybody? Welcome to the 26 Scikit-Learn with Python for Machine Learning with our investing example tutorial video. In this video we're going to kind of pick, off, uh, pick up where we left off um, in the last video and we're going to actually kind of make it a little easier for us to uh, increase or decrease our standards for what kind of company we're looking for. So we saw that we got a huge list of companies and it was maybe a little too large for some people's liking so why not kind of uh, raise the standards a little bit and lower the amount of stocks that are get returned. You know, we want the ones that we feel the most confident about. So to do that, uh, we can actually add a little bit of code into uh, this script. So the same one we've been using to actually run the back test, the training, uh, and really the forward suggestions. Uh, we can use that exact same script as usual. So uh, this is that script and uh, we're gonna add an underscore enhanced here. So maybe I forgot that in the previous video or something. Anyway, uh, underscore enhanced with an A, wanna make sure those two line up. But what we can do is we can actually calculate status, wherever status is. We can calculate that column all on our own. So won't be here because those are features. But anyways, uh, so first what we wanna have is a variable at the very top. We're gonna call this uh, how far. <laughs> how much how much better and this will be how much better are we wanting when we go through our um, our uh, training set we're basically gonna label the training set before we actually start training and what we're gonna label a zero or a one we're gonna say if it's five percent better than market then it's a one otherwise it's a zero but then we can come through and we can change that to fifteen percent and because pandas works pretty quick making that change will be very seamless and very fast. So if we want to be toying around with this number, here's how uh, we can do that at a quick pace. So first we're going to need a new function and that function is going to be just status calc. So we're going to come down here and we're going to define status underscore calc as the following. So we're going to re need to be returned the stock percent change and then we're also going to need to pass through the S&P 500 percent change. Then to calculate, we're just going to say the difference equals stock minus SP500. That's really simple. Then we just need to ask a question. If difference is greater than how much better, you know, that requirement, then we want to return one, else return zero. And that's really it. That's our status calc function, right? So that's our logic for how we're going to calculate the status column. And that way, for that calculation, we just change this variable up here, this constant up here, and that's it. So now, uh, what we need to do is in our build data set column here, we uh, we can do something like this. We can uh, either one, redefine the status column, or we could define a new column and use that column. It really does not matter. But we could do data underscore df, and we can say data df, uh, and then we'll, we'll actually say uh, I can't remember if this will actually iterate through or not. So we're going to call this status2 just because if it does iterate through, we would hit an error for sure. Anyway, and this is equal to, see if you're on Python 2, you can get away with this a lot easier than you can in Python 3. So, but with Python 2, you have to do the list version of the map of the various, this following function, status underscore calc with the variables of data underscore df and then that is stock underscore p underscore change and then the other variable that we're passing through or the parameter that we're passing through is data underscore df and then uh, sp500 underscore p underscore change so these are the things that we want to basically pass through uh, this calculation here so now all we need to do is we've got status two and then, you know, this can remain, it's not really a big deal, but um, what we're interested, what is happening here? Let's, let's get real. <laughs> Why is forward sample, I'm not even sure why that is even there. I assume that was a copy and paste from something. Let me make sure that was. I think that's okay. I guess that was somehow a copy and paste of this. Anyway, <laughs> not sure what that was doing there, but we'll just ignore that for now. 
Um, okay, so this defines status two, and then we need to come down here. So y is our status check here. So what we need to do, I'm just coming up here now, y is actually going to equal, instead of just status, it will be status 2. Uh, sorry, I had to go back through <laughs> all that code to figure out that out. Anyway, uh, so that's it, right? So now we would be returned the with not available companies. We should do no NA, actually, because at least last time we got returned a uh, zero suggestions. Uh, so we'll change this to no NA, and then we come down here with uh, another no NA. Although, hey, we got some suggestions now. Look at us. So, not, oh, gosh. <laughs> I think the with NA is a better uh, example anyway, so I guess we'll stick with with NA now that that's working apparently. Um, okay, so we have these uh, with an A. We've got these following suggestions, Apple, ABC, A and F. Now, interestingly enough, let's run that one more time. And we'll wait for it, I suppose. This why I don't like this one because it just takes too long. It takes forever to get the actual output that we're uh, waiting on here. Okay, so we get the output back and you can see that it's relatively the same list, but you'll see that we have some differences. So I'm trying to look for something that exists in this list, but not the other list. G, G, M, E. Okay, so, no, okay. Isn't it just categorically a shorter list? <laughs> uh. Let's see, we got 16 and 14. Something is missing from the list. I'm just not seeing it, apparently. Uh, how about Toyota Motors? Yeah, okay. So that's one that's missing from the list, TM. Okay, and there's one other somewhere. I'm just blind. Okay, so there's two things missing from this list. So uh, we could take this actually a step further. Now, to make things go a little faster, I am going to pass through no NA here just because I want to show you guys uh, all the options that you have at this point. So we can run hopefully quickly with no NA here. Right, and we got 22 suggestions. Um, okay, and then if we come through and go to the very top now and we say instead of how much better, we want 10% better. And before like 50 suggestions. <laughs> Uh, that would be fun. Okay, we only have one suggestion at that point. Okay, so so you can kind of tweak these numbers to kind of get, you know, if you're looking for 22 stocks, there you go. If you're looking for one stock, there you go. Uh, so in this case, now we got 20 stocks. Well, we just ran this number a second ago, and we got 22 stocks, okay? So there is a degree of uh, randomness to this, and initially you might have assumed it was because the test size was a random sampling, right? Because we did shuffle uh, the training set. Somewhere up here. And, oh, in the re-index, here it is. But that's not actually what's happening. It's the, the training that is actually randomized slightly. So what you could do instead is, instead of printing the invest list, we can, we can comment this out, and we can comment this out, and we can comment this out, and now we will just return invest list like that. And now, check it out. So first we can say final list equals empty. We're going to say loops equals 5, and then we're going to say 4x in range loops, something like this. Stock list equals analysis. Empty parms. Then uh, we'll go um, 4e in stock list. We'll say final underscore list dot append and we append e and my dog is probably going to bother me in a second hopefully i can finish this before he starts yapping at me now we're going to say x equals counter which uh we're going to have to grab that and final underscore list now at the very top of our script we're going to grab counter i just held the page up to get up there really quick 
And we're going to say from collections import counter. Now back to the very bottom. OK, so x equals the counter of uh, that final list. Now, what we say is for each in x, so for each element in this x counter, we can do uh, the following. So we can do this, so print uh, 15 times uh, underscore like this, so it makes 15 underscores. Uh, so for each in x, if x each is greater than the loops, and then we'll say minus, I don't know, we just want something here, being a bad dog over there, minus uh, loops divided by three, so just some sort of variation, like so we can allow for maybe, like if we have 20 loops, we'll allow for some give there, uh, then print each, okay, something like that. So we're running five loops here, let's run eight loops. So the running, we're on three, four, five, seven, and eight. And we finally get our result of all of the stocks that kind of came through very frequently. So these are all of the ones that you might uh, consider investing in that were ran through several iterations and still came through as good stocks. So anyways, uh, that's that. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, the subscriptions, and the donations. And until next time.